Okay, here we've got an MTI 2100 photonic sensor. We're set up to measure peak to peak micro inches. Uh, the, we have a plug in module here, which is a 2032 RX module. It's set uh, to read in normal mode or not high gain, but reading in normal resolution. And our probe is fixtured over an ultrasonic Duquesne horn here that had, puts out about 620 micro inches peak to peak of motion. Here we've got the driver, uh, the amplifier that drives the horn. Over here we've got an oscilloscope to monitor the uh, AC waveform that's hooked up directly to the back of the uh, 2100 here. And what we'll do is we'll activate the horn now and look at the motion. And you can see we're sensitive to seismic motion too, so we have to be careful we don't jiggle the bench while we're doing this. Oh. I've activated the drive. We're seeing about 640 micro inches of motion, which is about correct. If we look over here on the oscilloscope, we can actually see the AC waveform being produced by the, the ultrasonic horn. And we don't want to run that too long or we overheat it. Okay, right here we've got a close-up of the photonic probe, the action end of our instrument. We're at about a 10,000th of an inch gap right here over the ultrasonic horn. And uh, As I mentioned previously, we're, uh, we've set the instrument up where we've gapped it to the optical peak and then moved down into the front slope to take the measurement. Uh, this is a high resolution module, uh, but the motion on this horn is such that it would saturate this in high resolution, so we're only using it in uh, range one right now. Uh, we've got a 20 hertz low or high pass filter setting to help knock down the seismic vibration. And uh, we've set the uh, low pass filter to a, uh, over 100 kilohertz wideband position so we don't clip any of the uh, 40 kilohertz ultrasonic horn frequency. Uh, right here, we're looking at our baseband noise. It's about uh, seven, eight micro inches peak to peak, and that's primarily due to seismic vibration and noise of the instrument.